pictured here on his public LinkedIn page with a photo provided to us by his attorney, 27-year-old Ali Reza Yazdani Esvidajani, hoped to continue graduate studies in agriculture at MSU. But his attorney, Ghazal Marani, says he was detained by Customs and Border Protection on Sunday after flying into Detroit Metro on a student visa. It's so sad. It's a sad story. And this policy, it seems it's outrageous. Marani says CBP told Ali Reza he was deemed inadmissible to enter the U.S., but no specific reason given, nor was he allowed to meet with an attorney. After spending the night, she says he voluntarily agreed to fly back after signing papers that gave away any legal recourse, but he would be allowed to reapply. There's not much that we can do for him right now. It impacts their whole life, um, either um, financially, emotionally. Taking into account ongoing tensions between the U.S. and Iran, Customs and Border Protection and Michigan State University are now issuing statements. In part of MSU's statement, a spokesperson says the university has worked the past 24 hours with members of our Michigan congressional delegation, other federal support agencies, and the student's lawyer to help through this difficult situation. We want international students to know we value and welcome them to our campus. Part of a statement from Customs and Border Protection also says the visa waiver program does not guarantee entry to the U.S. The traveler was not arrested, rather held until a return flight could be arranged to his place of departure. Applicants must demonstrate they are admissible into the U.S. by overcoming all grounds of inadmissibility, including health-related grounds, criminality, security reasons, etc. My belief is that they are um, scrutinizing individuals coming from Iran. Attorney Amy DeCore represents the Michigan chapter of the Council on American Islamic Relations. It's inherently unfair, so it, it, it criminalizes this individual based on nothing other than tension between two governmental agencies. Simon and Shea Cat, 7 Action News.